my name is Paul Boag and you're watching my digital ramblings, for want of a better word. Um, I want to share with you a few thoughts about user experience design and digital development. And today I want to talk about the upcoming AirPod. Are you as excited as I am about the new Apple AirPod? Wireless earphones. For me, that is something that I've wanted a long time. And unlike many people, I don't have a problem uh, with the Apple earphones staying in my ears, so I'm not worried about that. But there is a fundamental problem with the AirPods, and it's a problem that I think we can all learn from as user experience and digital designers. And the problem is you can't adjust the volume on your um, AirPods. You have to use Siri, or you have to take the phone out of your pocket to adjust the volume. And that is very much a step back in the user experience. It makes a fundamental feature of the phone harder than it was before, because on the existing headphones, as you can see, there is a controller. I can easily turn the volume up and down. Now this is fundamental functionality when it comes to listening to music. Now compare how easy it is to increase or decrease the volume on existing headphones compared to having to say, hey Siri, wait for the response, then tell it to turn the volume up and down. You also don't have as much control either on how much it changes the volume. And this is a fundamental problem I'm seeing time and time again within the digital and technology arena. This desire to innovate, to provide some level of convenience or some level of functionality or something new, but at the cost of fundamental user experiences. Let me give you another example. Um, BMW thought it would be great if people didn't have to carry around their car keys with them. They knew they carried around their mobile phone, so they thought, well, why don't we enable people to unlock the car with a mobile phone? What a great idea, you might say. But it's only a great idea if it's implemented correctly and if the experience is therefore easier and more convenient than it was before. Because users will always select convenience over novelty, in the long run, at least. So what they did was build a mobile app. A mobile app that allows you to do a lot of things, including unlock your car. But actually, that is a huge step back in terms of convenience. You think how easy it is to take your keys out of your pocket, put them in the car, twist the, um, the keys, and the car is unlocked. Two, three steps at most. Even less if you've got one of those sets of keys with a button on that opens the car. Now, compare that to the app. In the app, you have to, first of all, take your phone out of your pocket. You have to turn it on. You have to unlock it using either a pin code or a touch ID or a swipe. You then have to swipe through all your apps, find the BMW app, open the BMW app, go to the correct place in the BMW app, and then unlock the door. You see the problem. It's actually a step back in terms of convenience. Okay, one more example. I have a, a business debit card, a business uh, as a personal debit card, and also a personal credit card. And I have to carry all of those around in my wallet. So some bright smart thought, wouldn't it be great if you could have one card to rule them all, one card to replace all of those, and basically you could switch backwards and forwards between the various cards. Very convenient, less things to carry around with you again. But switching back and forwards between those cards, it means switching backwards and forwards using an app. So again, it's the same problem. I have to open the app, uh, you know, open my phone, find the app, open the app, choose a card. That's not more convenient than just grabbing a card out of my wallet. And I really wanted to like that. I really wanted to use that. But the convenience overruled my desire to have something new and something different. So that is the lesson I want to leave you with today, that whatever you design as a designer, if it doesn't make it easier for people to complete the tasks they want to complete, it doesn't matter what else it does. It doesn't matter how cool what you offer is. It doesn't matter how innovative. It doesn't matter even how empowered it makes people if it doesn't make it easier to do what they would have done before. Users will always, always, always choose the path of least resistance.